This is a Blaring Out with Eric Blair show at the 2013 NAM, and I'm here with Rat drummer Bobby Blotzer. Now, Bobby, what's going on with Rat? Rat is, um, we're getting ready to do a new record with uh, Brian Howell, this producer that produced Nickelback. We have new management. We have Juan Crucier back in the band. Um, I'm working on a Queen's Reich record, playing a Queen's Reich record. Yeah, on the side, and we're gonna tour this summer and hopefully get along and be happy, which would be amazing. Now, what happened a, a few years ago? You guys like played the Pacific Amphitheater in Orange County, and I guess things were kind of disintegrating around that time. Is that true? I mean, it kind things, of fell apart. Listen, now. man, things have been dis disintegrating in rats since we were 16 years old. Okay, we got five chiefs, no Indians, but. The, the, this chemistry that we have produces so many great songs, you know what I mean? I don't know what the fuck it is, but we have a great time with the music, which overshadows that we think each other are a bunch of clowns. So, occasionally we get do make some good business decisions, but it's, it's a hard road to hoe, you know? But I love the guys, you know, and I'm not saying anything bad about them. It's just a, it's a, it's a, it's a hard gig. It's like, know? dude, it's like family. Yeah. It's five fucking drunk Irish brothers that not one will fucking give up in, in like if you're doing slap biting or wrestling in the room. I'm not giving up unless I can't breathe and I'm knocked out, you know? <laughs> now, uh, you came out with a book a couple years ago also, correct? That's correct, yeah. Name the name of the book. The book is called Tales, T-A-L-E-S, Tales of a Rat, a rat, R-A-T-T. -T. Subtitled, Things You Shouldn't Know. And it's uh, my life story, and it's a really fun ride. It turned out amazing. It's done amazing business, and I'm proud of it and happy to have it, you know. And it was, it was a long time in the making, and I know Stephen has one coming out too. I don't know what's going to be in that, but we'll see soon. Yeah. Stephen, uh, about five years ago, I interviewed Stephen. We did a sit down, and. Uh, he said his book was just going to be out of control, like like it was going to have to be censored. It was so hardcore. Is your book that hardcore? Cause well, see, because I kept in mind that we all have families, wives, children, and that kind of thing. But I kept the stuff that people knew we did on the partying level, and who I party with, other rock star people, and the things we did. But I didn't like bring up a bunch of things that were going on backstage and all that kind of thing. Hey! Oh, there we go. Hold it up. Fifteen hundred dollars. Fifteen hundred bucks. Who wants it right now? Fifteen hundred. Do I hear sixteen? No. Seventeen. <laughs> no, yo. I'll just take it for free. I don't know where this came from. I know. This is a shameless plug. I know, but this is. That I took this picture last week. Yeah, really? No, yeah, last week. Looks just like me, right? <laughs> Now, yeah, about 1,800 years ago. Now, tell me about the new. Tell me about the new producer. I might keep this. Oh yeah. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Ryan Howe. He produces uh, Nickelback, Hinder, Puddle of Mud. He's a great guy, great producer, and you know he's top notch, dude. He's a current A-lister, and we're very excited. We have new management with uh, Rob Hoffman and uh, One Management, this company's called One. And you know, dude, we're just looking forward to um, 2013. Well, tell me about the songwriting process. Have you guys started pre-production yeah. or working on songs? I think everybody, well, we haven't started, we start pre-production them like in the next week. Everybody's been writing, you know, and everybody, everybody always has a backlog of material. So we'll just get in like we did with the last record and there's like, boom, you know, 35 songs. And then we'll let the producer go, okay, let's work these up. You know, he's got the final say on that. And, uh, you know, it's, I mean, the last record we worked up in two weeks. That last I record was him. awesome. I love that last record. And I love Elvis Basket. I'm glad you gave him props. He's a great guy, great producer. And I was done with my tracks in three days, man. I, you know, but I didn't want to leave because his studio is on the beach, right on the beach in Virginia Beach. It's beautiful surroundings, you know. So, um, so on to the next, you know, it's the next, next wave think, of rats. Do you think this album's going to be like a bigger sound as far as super overproduced? I don't know. I don't think it's going to be super overproduced. I think we're trying to do something new and really on all levels of rat, you know, have everything come out and be a new rat. And, but with the same classic sound and songs. But it's going to be obviously a twist in the production with the way he produces. The Blaring Out Show.